Hi guys, Cindy here. So today we're going to show you some of the supplies that I have got in the last few weeks and show you what I did this weekend with my nails. I'm sorry I didn't get a video of me doing nails, my nails. Uh, I tried. Uh, I did some practicing and just nothing turned out right. So anyway, this is what I ended up with. I was just wore out. So I used some of my supplies, which I will show you. Anyway, first, the most exciting thing is, well, I got these new little uh, foils. You know, I go through spells and foils are my favorite because they're easiest if you can get them to transfer. And these all have, you know, I like the, I've been liking the little abstract, uh, uh, pictures and everything and so I found a box on Amazon of nothing but and but these are by no means my favorite pattern I picked them out for Valentine because I found a little lady with a heart on her and I think this word says love you and uh, this woman here I ended up with her both on my forefingers, just a coincidence. I think it's because she fit good on that nail. But anyway, we've got um, we've got some better foils here, like uh, smaller pictures and different shades. And I think that which one was the one I used? This is I think this is the one I used. This is. Uh, that says full beauty. They all say full beauty on them. I don't know which one's the one I used. Anyway, it was one of them. Uh, and I kind of looked at them all. This had pink and light blue. And this is it. I think this is it. Anyway, they're all similar but different. And they all say like full beauty on them. I don't know if that is the brand or what. We even have some that's just black lines. And it is kind of harder. No, I found the ones I used. This was the one I used. And so, and I just cut the little pieces. I cut them out because, you know, sometimes when you just try to lay them on something like this, you're not going to get the whole face on. So that was kind of tedious, cutting all the little faces out. I've got some left here. And I did do some experiments, and it seemed like these work better on either that or my Maxi nail oil glue is expired. Maybe I need to throw that out. And I've got some more cat in my cart, and it might be getting old too. But it seemed like this worked better with the old-fashioned air dry glue, but it came with a little instruction card. And it says you're just supposed to... You, here's the instruction cards. It says just to use nail polish and have it keep it kind of tacky. So I thought, well, we'll try that. That would be a lot more convenient than trying to um, uh, keep nail glue on hand just for foil. But, um, so I gave that a try. And so this was, I did, I, apparently I didn't want it. See, that's the thing. It says keep it tacky. How do you know? Unless you have a timer and you know exactly, you know. So this was one with some like LA Colors white polish that I used and kept it tacky. And I messed that one up. Now this one here was some um, Sally Hansen's just air dry polish and it did a little bit better. And so I don't know, I might try that sometime. The only thing is you get them on your nails and you don't want to gimp them up. But I guess with just regular polish, you don't have to use a base coat. This says use a base coat and a color coat. Anyway, I just cut these up the little pieces and stuck the little pieces on. And it was tedious, but I think that works out for these things with little shapes like this. That works out better than to try to figure out how to do it. Here's a, another little flower. First, I, I didn't really appreciate the flowers at first and just stuck them on my pinkies. But they turned out the best ones, I think. Anyway. Okay, more stuff. Put this little instruction card in here. We'll try that another day again. Okay, and so what nails did I use? 
So I got these. I thought these would be handy little white nails. I'm really not a welt nail person. I don't know. I kind of kept them in my basket a long time before I actually pulled the trigger and got them. And it came, I think it was $9.99 for a set of black nails. And I'm really not a black nail person, but you know, in the winter time, you can wear black nails and white nails. And I put these on the white nails just because I was so tired by the time I decided. I, you know, I started, I was busy Saturday, so I started Sunday, you know, practicing around was going to do my video. And by the time I actually got around to actually doing my nails, I had practiced and, you know, and I was just wore out. So I just stuck them on these white nails and that's what these look like. And I think it was like $9.99 for both of these. And, you know, especially if you like black nails. I mean, if you wear a lot of black or something or gray or, or those kind of colors. Or, and the white nails, I mean, if you like white, these are good. But anyway, I, I dropped these, so all they're all mixed up now. So that's going to be a pain in the rear. I have to struggle to see. So here's some more. I'm excited about these. Now, I did... Last week I wore some uh, ombres that had glitter on them and little, but I didn't like those at well. They was kind of, um, I don't know, they was kind of rough. Now these look like a pretty shape and a pretty length and, you know, that I'll probably be able to wear these to work. And they got, and I don't remember what I paid for these. There's Amazon, we've got purple and pink and another pink, which is good because you know I like pink. So. What else have we got? And then, like, a lot of times, you know, like, I don't, if my fingers start getting sore or something, I just want to take my nails off and put a new set on. And so I got some more of these little short nails. It, I don't remember what it was, but it'll show, like, a whole bunch of nails on Amazon. And it's all different colors. So, and these are just the, and I can typically get one manicure out of one side. So, so uh, each one of these little things typically can be two manicures unless I have some kind of mishap. So what else did we get? I got me some gloves. I already used them. I'm thinking I can use uh, a glove more than once. I really didn't want to spend the money on gloves, but, and these are medium, and I don't think I'm an extra large person, but I must be. They were, I might have should have got large. Um, they, I mean, I could get them on, but they was not loose at all. And so I've worn these once. I stuck them in. I might try to wear them more than once, but that's just to try to protect my fingers from the gel and the glue and stuff like that. And they did help even just, I stuck them on just to, I just put them on one hand and glued the nails on, stuck them on the other hand and glued the other. And it did help uh, doing that instead of just my fingers. Okay. What else did we get? These were some new nails. I got these because I thought, well, I could put the polish underneath them. And these was on Amazon, and they was real inexpensive. Of course, all these inexpensive things, you keep adding them up, and they run into money. So I think I've got about everything I need to get for a while. And these were just AB nails, and I'm sure they're fine. Uh, um... I just didn't want to use uh, almond. I like almond. I wanted almond, but I just did not want to use almond this week. This one little finger is kind of sore. They're about almost all grown up, but I think it's the pressure on it. We're picking up stuff and holding stuff. It's putting pressure on this nail, and all the old damage now has not all grown out yet. So it's probably. Um, you know, that we get from all the soak off and stuff. Right now, I'm just taking a little acetone and put it around the edge, soaking them in hot water and kind of prying them off. And then, I've not even been putting a lot of, you know, like I just cover my nails up. It's not any worse than people keeping acrylic on their nails. And I've just been, you know, they might have a little bit of crust on them and I've just been going ahead and doing on top of it because i just trying to keep the chemicals off my, my nails for a little bit. To try to just get them healthy again and so and and they're they're for the most part okay this is the only one that's kind of it looks like i've got a little white line running down here and i think that is like pressure from when i'm picking up stuff holding stuff something the way i'm hitting that one finger is putting pressure on that nail and i hadn't figured out what i'm doing yet so that i can quit doing it i've tried to do it like when i hold my ipad i try to you know, make sure I'm not touching any nails or anything, putting any pressure on any nails. And so we're working on it and it's getting better. So what else we got here? 
Okay, now these were some press-ons, and I wore these last week, and I did throw them away. Some people might could have reused them. I didn't want to reuse them. I had big old blogs of glue in it, and, and I've got paints now, so now I'm going to try to just paint my own. This is before I got my little stripper paints and before I had a little bit more confidence. So I'm going to try to get the confidence to paint my own. But these, I wore these little blue ones. I did get some, a compliment on them from my friend. And these are a little bit more pointy. They're kind of long. I don't really want to wear them to work. I wore them last week because I knew I wasn't going to be doing a lot of programming. I'm kind of I'm working on some kind of Excel shit, bread sheet where I'm just copying and pasting and just doing a little bit of typing. So I did feel like I could wear those to work last week. Other than that, just for everyday typing, I think they're a little bit long for me. I mean, right now. I might be able to later when my nails get a little healthier. So... And that was, they got unhealthy from the gel, and I think long period soaking them off in acetone a whole bunch. So, we're, we're working on that. What else did we get? Oh, I hadn't even looked at this yet. I hadn't even opened it. Let's see if I can get a pair of scissors. So, this is some of those solid polishes. And I wanted these because... I think that that hopefully will be less running and stuff, you know, less chance of it getting on my skin, uh, like the liquid polish in the bottles. So, because we're trying to keep from getting any contact dermatitis or anything like that. So, someone, I, a couple of people have done videos, and I don't, it might be someone I'm subscribed to or not. I have a few people that I'm subscribed to, and then some people just come up on the list. So we will be doing some videos with this. It's that Savalan. It looks like it's four. I'm not going to open them, but it looks like these. So um, we will see how we like that. It comes with three little brushes, which that's nice. And so we will see. And the reason I got it is because I don't, you know, the liquid, it's kind of messy and it you get some big, Blob. That's one reason I wanted to do the upside down hack method. Well, I don't know if I've already said this or not, but you cannot do, you kind of need the sculpted nails for the hack method. And they need to be kind of long too, so you can hold them or whatever. Or if you have a stand, which I've got a stand, I just don't like, like messing with it. I'd rather just hold them. That's one reason I've got some gloves, you know. What else? Oh, these. You know, I like the abstract nails, and I haven't worn these because I wanted to um, save them. Because I spent maybe like $9.99 on these, and I just don't want to waste them. But there's uh, half of them black and half of them white, and they've got a little face on them. I did open them up and look at them, but I haven't worn them because I don't want to waste them. I want to wait and wear them, you know, get my money's worth. So... Kind of this is what they look like in the package and I did pull and it looks like it comes with a little file and a little sticker and it looks like it's got some of these little adhesive pads too. so one of these days I wear them I just I didn't want to because I spent more money it's not like I spent $9.99 for a thousand nails it was like only 24 nails so I haven't wanted to waste them. Okay, one more thing. And I was going to use this this weekend, but this was part of the failed experiments. But I've been looking for some kind of light color nudish. I thought these was kind of more jelly, but they're not. I think they're a little bit more uh, solid. But I was going to do these with that. And I'll tell you, some of the experiments I did, they didn't work, so you'll know not to try it waste your time. I was wanting to do the hack method by putting a gel coat and then cutting these little things up and then um, slicking those down so the picture would be prettier. Well, that was a mess. That didn't work. Because if you notice, uh, of course, I did these yesterday. I've done my makeup and so they're kind of stained and stuff. You know, it does not get every single spec transferred over and then not only that the the glue and you top coat it and the top coat wears off like some of the top of these you know it looks kind of dark where the top coats and so 
probably if I'd use like a light pink or something, these would look better than white. But anyway, so here are my colors. We'll just watch a few of them. And so I was thinking that, I don't know what I was thinking. I looked at so much nail polish on Amazon. I was thinking they'd be more jellyish, but they're not. They're they're creams. Uh, they're cream colors, but these are the colors. So that'll be pretty because I like pink. I like pink. And you know, pink goes with everything. Mm. There's some like kind of a peach colors too. That's kind of pink. And one more thing. These, I thought I could use these with the underneath message, but like I said, I'm like, you just have to use these like you're a pre-sculpted nails or any kind of sculpted nails, because this little flat nails, it's not gonna work. I think it'd be too thick. It looks like I've got like rose gold, yellow gold, and white gold, and then turquoise and pink and other ones. I had some little glitter colors last year, and that was before I discovered that in the inside method to do them and it was just such a mess and I can't remember if I gave them to one of the girls or if I just got mad and threw them away because they was anyway this is a pretty color so we'll be doing some stuff with that too so anyway hopefully next week I'll have more time and we can do my nails on camera um anyway so this is what I did this week and hopefully I'll do a better job on other uh, uh, abstracts, because I really think the abstracts are cool. I even, I was looking and looking, and I didn't want to buy the stickers, and the nails are expensive. Like, I did buy one set of nails, but I just thought, you know, they're kind of expensive, you know, for 24 nails, like, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. I just didn't want to spend it, but I thought if I could make my own nails, that would be good, or, you know, it'd probably be best if I learned to paint on these things, but these little teeny tiny nails, you know, I've seen some, some people like with a stick attached, maybe that's what I ought to do, and so, anyway, I'll see you guys later, y'all have a great day, bye-bye.